the fact that Europe is, in a sense, in a state of high alert because of the terrorist threat has, I think, made extremist parties seem more relevant to people's problems and made centri put centrist parties on the back foot. So because France has been in a state of high alert for several months and has nonetheless experienced a terrorist attack recently, people are starting to wonder whether the solutions that once seemed rather strange and eccentric offered by the far-right parties are now the way to go. The centrist parties are on the back foot because they're having to respond by uh, essentially copying the, what has been offered by the, by the extremist parties. They're, they've tempor temporarily closed France's borders and they've uh, proposed to change nationality law to be able to kick terrorists out as they please. Um, I think as we move on and we have elections coming up, I don't think that the Front National will win in France in May 2017. I don't think that the um, Alternative for Deutschland will be part of Germany's government in late 2017. That isn't really what's important. What is already happening is that the fact that these parties are doing well are making people reconsider what they once thought to be progress. I think the US is worried. Washington has noticed the rise of nationalism in Europe. They know that one of the first um, one of the first effects of that is that Europe is less interested in cooperating with the U.S. in foreign policy uh, projects, adventures. Um, one of the main uh, criticisms of the Front National, for instance, of French foreign policy, is that it's too obedient to Washington. And were these parties ever to come to power, uh, you could be pretty sure that uh, they would seriously reconsider their alliance system. For the moment, since they're not likely to come to power, it's more how they influence the decisions of mainstream parties of government, uh, which are much more reluctant to engage in foreign adventures, uh, perhaps exactly when that might be necessary. I mean, the threats Europe faces come from abroad, the near abroad. It would be, um, it would be reasonable to expect Europe to deal with what's going on in its neighborhood, but precisely because uh, these nationalist parties are uh, against foreign interventions and make people much more skeptical of their their own government's capacity to intervene, I think Washington is quite worried about it.